Hi, I'm Elijah Carpenter. For reference, CSC 261, section number one. My role in my group's presentation is not to describe any particular bit of code, but to give a general overview of ASCII and give pseudocode algorithms for the conversion processes this presentation is about. ASCII is a system for representing characters in computers through numerical values. When grouped together in the memory as an array, these characters become strings. If we want to convert an integer into its string equivalent, the procedure to do so is very simple because every digit corresponds in ASCII to its number version plus 30, i.e. the ASCII representation of 0 is 30, the ASCII representation of 1 is 31, and so on until you reach 39. So, if we're going to convert decimal to ASCII, we want to start by converting the rightmost digit in the number to its ASCII representation. We want to remove that digit from the number, and we want to repeat until we run out of digits. This is done by dividing the number by 10. Now note that we're doing integer division here, that is, division with remainders. Because we use a base 10 number system, dividing by 10 will result in the rightmost digit, which is by definition less than 10, being left as a remainder, and all the other digits, which by definition have 10 as a factor, being left as the quotient. We then add 30 to our remainder, and we've obtained the ASCII equivalent of that digit. We then store that digit in our array, or our string, speaking of in x86 assembly, we store that character in memory, and then we look back at our quotient, and we divide by 10 again, and we repeat this process iteratively until we run out of digits with which to divide by 10. And then, if we go into memory and we look at our string, we have an ASCII representation of the number that we wanted to convert. Now, for ASCII to decimal conversion, we essentially do this whole process in reverse. We take the least character in the string, the, the rightmost character in the string, we subtract 30 from it, and then multiply it by 10 to the n power, n starting at 0 and then incrementing each time we do this iteratively. And at the end of that process, we'll be left with the numerical equivalent of the number that we have stored as ASCII values. Now, if you'll continue with this presentation, my collaborators will show you how the pseudocode, which I've described here, is practically implemented in x86 assembly. Thank you.